how's everyone at Naperville North handling this stoppage of water polo? Um, I think everybody's handling it well. It's definitely been hard on everyone and we've all been like talking about it and we're all super upset about it, but we're powering through it and everybody's just um, staying close together and getting through it together. What's been kind of the message maybe from, from you in the senior class to the rest of the team or from your coaches to kind of stay positive through all of this? Yeah, we're just trying to stay positive by thinking about the accomplishments that we have had and the opportunities that we have had and the opportunities that the team will have in the future. Although, like, we couldn't get some of them that we would have had, but we're all just talking about the memories that we have had together in the past. We're talking with Jimmy from Atia Valley. He's talking about Naperville Central always gets in the way. Stevenson on the girls' side, always a tough team defending champs from last year. How was, how was this season going to go in your mind for Naperville North? Was this going to be a championship season? Was it going to be very successful? Was it, a re, was, it, was it a rebuilding year? What's your take? Yeah, I thought this was going to be, like, this could have been our season to win state. Like, my sophomore year, we got third. Last year, we got second. And we worked extremely hard in the off season with West Sub, and we like the first two weeks we had, we were looking pretty good and we like we thought this was going to be our season. What's a big memory that stands out or just a favorite moment from your time with your high school team? I think my favorite moment was my sophomore year. We were playing against Naperville Central, which is our rival, and we had never beat them before. And it was just like, well, we had beat them before, but not in like a really long time. And it was like the goal of like this – like all the seniors and the whole team and like the whole time we were just focused on beating them. And when we finally did it, it felt so good. And then from your club days, and I know you're also part of the West Suburban Club, what, what has that group meant to you and how has it helped you get better at water polo? That group has meant a lot to me because I've been able to play with different players that I would normally play against like in high school. So playing with them helped me improve a lot um just like knowing the differences like in high school and then playing with them um in season helped improve everybody and we all built um really good friendships that we carried on even into high school and it was just super fun playing the friends that I made on West Sub then again in high school. So you're a senior in high school I'm sure everyone asked you this question but what's what's next for you after high school is water polo going to have a role in whatever you do next? Yeah, so I'm attending the University of Tampa in Florida, and they don't have a team or a club, but I want to join some sort of master's program or club team because I want to continue playing water polo. Well, we've just had an event, not just, but now it's been a couple of years, uh, in the St. Pete's Tampa area. They have some great water polo facilities. There's a couple of former college water polo players down there now that have started master's programs. I think you'll be in luck to find somewhere to play. Once you get down there, what, what is it about water polo that you've enjoyed so much that you want to try and keep doing? It? Yeah, I think that it's like the uniqueness of the sport and the competitiveness and the like aggression that you don't really get in any other sport. But mostly it is like the, the friendships you make and just like the team aspect of the sport that kind of brings everyone together. How are you and your teammates trying to stay together as best as you can? Jimmy kind of mentioned you know, plans for, for sort of a banquet whenever you can to get together and you've done some stuff online, but what's your group been doing? Yeah, we had Zoom meetings where we just talked and then we also had Zoom meetings where we would all work out together. And then we also had like a surprise senior night where the other people on our teams, like not the seniors, like they came and they drove by with their cars decorated and they had posters. And then after like the drive by, we all met up with them and we talked in a parking lot and it was just super great seeing all of them again. As you see them, and I'm sure that brings back memories of kind of competing together and all that sort of stuff. What's, you know, now that you've been out of the pool for a little while, what's, what's something that maybe you didn't, you didn't realize you'd miss about, about water polo or about, or about being around all these other girls? Um, honestly, probably the morning practices honestly think like the energy in the morning is so different than the energy in like the afternoon practices. And it's just something that I really miss, even though it like was awful. It was just something that brought everyone. <laughs> That's like the, the way everyone has described it. 
this morning practice was terrible, but I miss it very much. Yeah, That's what I, I wouldn't yeah. do anything to be at a morning practice right now. <laughs> I <never thought> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't think many people would ever have normally admitted that, but um, th these are kind of the times that we're in. Um, I asked Jimmy about Portillo, so I'll change it up with you a little bit for kind of Illinois food go-tos. Mm -hmm. Everyone always talks about pizza in the Chicago area. Do you have like a go-to spot? Do you want nothing to yeah. do with Chicago Lou's style? What's your What's your pick? Lou's deep dish, definitely a Chicago Lou's. pizza. Yeah. yeah. Why is that the best? It's so the crust and like all the cheese on top of it. It's so good. Excellent, excellent. Well, hopefully they aren't closed. You can still get some Lou's going on, even though everything else is kind of shut down. <laughs> excellent. Uh, Lainey, thanks so much for the time. Really, really appreciate it. Good luck in Tampa next year with the rest of your senior year. Yeah, thank you for having me.